you can't leave those two in there by themselves, they're gonna go at it again. There is definitely no, and Holly's going for the Aubrey. Aubrey has been fighting everybody and now they're fighting the Prez and now the Prez is down. of aggression and a lot of feelings being worked out here, folks. Jolene quick to taunt Holly. Holly trying to be calm and cool, the Prez as she is. Definitely a size difference. coming in with the height difference. That's not gonna stop Holly coming in quick, trading shots for the midsection. Jolene quick to keep jawing. She's always one known to talk to her opponents in the ring. Holly's having none of it, staying focused, working to the sh In the midsection, Jolene's grabbing her, pulling in for a little tight clinch, and then working for the arm, cranking on the head, and talking and jumping. Toss around, get a little separation, and here we get back to the action. Holly's not happy. Work that out a little bit. Holly going back to the midsection of the strike. Jolene is spending a lot of time talking and not a lot of time. There's a quick little shot back. Big smile on her face. Nice kick to the midsection. Holly giving her an answer in form. Back into the clinch. Nice shots to the midsection. Take that cardio out of Holly. Tosses her around. You're better than this, Holly. Hey, Beth, you're better than her, too. Come on, Back to the midsection. Still talking crap the whole way, as we can hear from the crowd, like John in here. And what a wonderful crowd we're here having at LS32. Gotta love it. Thank you, Sturgis. Come on, working into the crank. Cranking the neck there a little bit, a little separation, stalking, but still jawing in her ear, trying to get into her head a little bit. Will Holly be affected by it? Going in quick, go for the little takedown, little two double leg takedown. Trying to work through. Just grabbing the legs, might see a little reverse can opener. Oh, a little hair pull. You're not supposed to do that there, Prez, but hey, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. She pulls in a little bit, in her head. Gets a little separation between the two of them. Jolene's grabbing it, leg. Doing a little joint manipulation, trying to work on the knee. That's tough. Holly trying to do some strikes, trying to loosen that. You can't get that leg free. Working on that leg. Jolene is not giving up on that, striking to the legs as well, while still trying to work the ankle a little bit, working the leg and the knees. There we have the end of the first round. Lovely action, folks. Just like what we would expect from two people that do not like each other. Coming in quick, grabbing for the knee, and then throws her down. Holly is not playing. Nice job getting on the top mount. We're gonna stop working the arms out. Maybe we'll try to work something through. Oh, is that, is she biting her neck? I can't quite tell, or maybe sucking her neck. Either way, I'm jealous. Now she's working on top, getting a little closer. Working her face, doing the little sort of a face smash there. You know, again, you know, that's a, you know, to, to block the airflow, you know, to uh, tie around the opponent. And to make us squaring up again. Jolene is taking an awful lot of time complaining to the ref, but Daisy is having none of it. Back to the clinch. Good knees being traded back and forth between the two. Is that a headbutt? Oh, nice. 
nice trip by Holly. Folks, there's a lot of aggression being worked out here. There's a lot of angry feelings and nice elbows to the face and to the midsection. I think Holly's enjoying this very much. Nice shots to the midsection. Perez, for not being in there for quite some time, is looking pretty darn good. Just comes over and gets one final word. When you're the boss, you ain't got a train. Jolene is not happy. Daisy telling her to get over to her corner. Coach Kane needs to get control of that and get her settled down. Well, right now it's a tough. It's tough right now. some discussion with the ref and uh, Johnny Tumbleweed right now. Did, did something happen that works in Did the judges see something? Oh, folks. Folks, what is happening? Johnny Tumbleweed's getting in the ring. Do we have a disqualification? Oh, folks. If that's the case, we got to run it back. But looks like Daisy. Lovely looking over, bending over to talk to our wonderful judges over there, getting clarification on what's happening here right now. Trying to help you up. Is not happy. She is constantly yelling over. There it is, calling her a cheater. Coach Crody is not happy. What's going on over there? What's happening? Coach Kane arguing for his side. He's over here lobbying the ref. And in the middle, oh, ref, you, you, you can't keep can't walk away. Some, this is not going to end well, folks. You can't let these two walk up on each other. Something's going on. Clearly, they think somebody violated something. I missed it, folks. I apologize, but there was a lovely crowd in front of me. But this is fun watching this mayhem. Oh, and they're going back at it. I said you can't leave those two. You can't leave those two in there by themselves. They're going to go at it again. There is definitely no And Holly's going for the Audrey. Audrey has been fighting everybody, and now they're fighting the Prez, and now the Prez is down. I don't know if I'm going to get my cohort back here. I don't know if I'm going to go. But they're back at it again, folks. Coach Crody's trying to get in there. you got Terry and Daisy trying to separate the girls. <laughs> and Johnny Tumbleweed, help us out here. Yes, we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by disqualification. We have a winner by disqualification, ladies and gentlemen, representing the black team, Holly the Little. Did we get another bad call? Did we get another bad call? Holly got the win by disqualification? That doesn't seem right. I think some I think some Joe pissed. And they're back at it again, folks. They're back at it again. You cannot leave these two alone in there. Folks, I need clarification myself. I don't know what is going on right now. That was cold. I would have thought that it would have been the other way, but clearly, clearly. I'm a fool. Lynn in the black and red. Monica Garcia all black. Whoa, come on, here we go. Big Whoa, size difference there for Garcia. She'll always try to use that power to her advantage when she can. Meanwhile, Shay Lynn flashing out the kicks to start. Hopefully she's not winded from that entrance. Yeah, I'm a bit winded. I'm still a little scared. Oh, nice knee. There you go. Tie up there, knees exchanged inside. 
Come on, let's go. Lynn's gonna really wanna oh. stay on the outside. Garcia is so strong. If she gets her hands on. Hey, oh, oh, way to stay there. Went to go talk to Coach turn, Leon. Turn. Turned her back. Oh, more strikes to the head right there. She's getting warned. But she still, still gets a few extra ones in there. Garcia, nice with the big flip. I'm telling you. Oh, now go. little payback. Wow, slander into the turnbuckle, threw her to the canvas, and now working from side control, the big ground and pound. This is where Monica Garcia really shines. Yeah, whenever you see a wrestler in there, in their element, it is a bad night for whoever's opposite of her. Steps over to Mount, but good job, Lynn. Lynn. Yeah. Being, able, being able to get up off that, that was tough. Really was, uh -oh. felt the transition work to her feet. Garcia is still controlling from the back right now. Shay Lynn trying to crawl up the turnbuckle if she can there. She's, come on. Garcia wants to pull her off there. Lynn's just not, not letting go of the turnbuckle. I don't know if I would either. I don't know if I would either. Hold on for dear life. Garcia's trying to take her, take her for a ride right there. Wow, get up, get up, get up. big suplex there to the canvas. Get up. Get up. Shay Lynn first to her feet there. Garcia was willing to stay get up, get up. on her back and engage there, and Shaylin happy to take top position. Come on, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Reversal there from Garcia, though, oh, alert, go. and now oh, big go. shots big from the top. Yes, Garcia's go. just so strong. You're gonna have a hard time keeping her on her backside. Left, Heavy left, strikes there, Shaylin turns to her belly, go, trying to work back to her feet. You see Garcia controlling the body from the back. Let's go, Monica, pick up a dropper, let's yeah, go. Kudos to Lynn taking this, I mean, there's a, 45 pound difference between oh. these two. And you're clearly seeing that Garcia is just able to manhandle, or woman handle, I should say. Come on, Big around. trip there to the ground. Seconds. 45 seconds. Garcia again using that strength seconds. advantage, yeah, yeah. lands those big shots. Heavy power, Shaylin back to her feet, trying to get yeah, some distance. Seconds, 30 seconds. Let's go. She seems to be okay after taking a lot of damage there. 30 seconds, pick her up, pick her up, pick her up. Get her, get her, pick her up, get Battling her. for position on, on the feet up. right now. A couple strikes seconds, coming from seconds. each way. Well, Which up, again, go. this is just what take you do out, when you out. face Garcia. Yeah. You're gonna have to try to stick and move. Uh -oh. Flower bomb picks oh, her oh, in oh, the oh, air. Oh, taking oh, her for oh, a ride. Oh, oh my goodness. The big slam. Oh, she's trying to get away to the judges. Oh, oh wow, bell sounds there. Like bell. At the Sapphire Las Vegas, we we're willing to welcome us into the Sapphire showroom. And you take a look there in the corner of Shay Lynn, who went for a ride a few times there in round number two, but she moves out quickly. Yeah, it was calling out Garcia, like, come on, bring this, and Garcia is giving it back. Garcia backs away from <laughs> Look at that. Oh. 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 Excellent work there from oh. Lynn. And now slams like, her into the like pink that corner, corner as well. How about this corner? Hey, there's two more corners. There's two more corners. Come on. Yeah, let's do let's, it let's again. Let's take another one. Just gonna take it for yeah. another ride. Right. Oh! <laughs> Three out of four. Hey, we got another one over here. We got another corner over here. And you want me to do it again? Oh, Garcia not gonna stand for that, though. Come on, no. The three was enough. No. Nope, Shaylin gonna take it for a ride again. No. Put her yeah. right in right the camera. camera. Oh. And there's the fourth one. Oh, you, well, I mean, if you're going to hit two or out of three, you know, you might as well got to hit all four corners. And look at the oh. leaping slam. My goodness, Shay Lynn Sinister with the slam. It's got her legs wrapped around the neck, Get just up. cutting off the Come air. On, off. Gives it up. It. Oh, traps the arm. Then maybe going for a little crucifix action. Yep, trying to isolate that oh, left arm. She's switching up for an arm over, bar. Arm bar. Garcia's got to roll with this. Arm is extended and in trouble. Right arm still behind right now. She seems okay. She's throwing punches. I think she's pulled it free. Yep. Good job. Worked it free. Now Garcia on the back. Tense moments there. Yeah. Shaylin. Could have been a lot of trouble there. Shaylin with the foot on the neck. Just <laughs> nasty right now. Garcia wow. rolls out. She's not happy. Not happy at all. I don't know if I'd be happy if somebody had their foot in my neck. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, oh, little couple words. Well, that was just a love tap. Oh, oh. and a love tap back. This thing is getting <laughs> ugly quick. Big slam to the ground there. Garcia pounding away here with big shots. Pure anger right there. Oh, the knocks. Is that got the rear naked locked in? Trying to get the left arm under the neck. You see Shaylin doing the right thing here, defending the hands yeah, two on one. Slips free there, but still working from her back. Monica, now she gets to her knees, but oh. Garcia's right there to meet her. <coughs> Wraps her up. 
looking to oh just muscles her to the ground that's the problem you gotta stay out of the hands of garcia she's just way too strong if she gets you locked in there and there's just such a big weight difference Shaylin works to her knees now to her feet but oh garcia still had control of the head and just slammed her to the canvas 30 seconds left monica finish her off Shaylin trying to scramble free. Garcia left arm around the neck and delivering big right hands. Slips over the top though. That gives Shaylin an opportunity. Let's see what she can do as she settles into her opponent's guard. Runs out of time before she can really do anything with it. And uh, once again, Shaylin took a lot of damage in there. That power of Garcia on display. I mean, you see, you see why you come here for entertainment. Las but Vegas. now we turn it back to LSC 37, third and final round. Oh, Garcia just picking her up, taking her for a ride again. Going to throw in the turnbuckle. Oh, oh setting her, set her up. Uh -oh. Uh oh, she's uh -oh. setting something up. Oh, but Garcia. Oh, nice job. Might have worked herself into some problems there. Yeah. Shaylin was able to wrap her legs around the neck and, well. Still a little precarious position. Oh, uh, no. Garcia has now lifted her, and she's going to try to take her for a ride. Oh, can't quite do it. Shaylin with the pressure on the neck there, but she's upside down. Oh. I think she tried to pull her over and just Pick couldn't up, quite go, do it. They'll Stay reset on, here. Go. Again, a, a fight that Stay you got to think that Garcia is winning in the eyes of the judges. Let's see what Shaylin can do. They're going to run straight at each other. Oh, holy acrobatics. Both of them taking damage. Very Rocky and Apollo right there. Yes, it was. Garcia now, the first one to kind of get her wits about her, wraps the right arm oh, around the neck, there, sits uh -oh. back, full guard on the back, looking for the choke. That's She's tight. got it in. That's tight. She's trying to get the squeeze. Shaylin There's the tap. a lot of that trouble like, here. I thought I saw a tap. She's going to go to sleep. Boy, she is. You see referee Sarah Wolf looking right into the eyes there because this choke looks like it's got to be deep. The squeeze looked like it was oh, in. Right, she's Garcia fighting. let it go. Shaylin was able to survive that. Wow, good job. I thought I saw a tap, but good, good on the ref to let the action go. Apparently, I didn't see what she's seen. Well, now Garcia just going to pound away with strikes and said couldn't get the job done with the with the choke, I should say, oh, but now turning to her striking. Lynn is in full-on survival on, mode. Go. Got a Wolverine on, go. just on you, just tearing you down. Kudos to her for not giving up. A lot of people would have gave up in that One submission right there. That's the power of the flower bomb on display, though. She's pounding away to the body. Shea, as you said, showing her toughness, but needs to get something going here. Turns on sits out for the arm bar. Oh, that left arm is extended. Shay Lynn again showing her toughness. Yeah, that arm's in a lot of trouble. See that elbow's in there. Garcia going belly down on there, trying to get some oh, pressure. She got it out. Able to extract it. Wow. Durability on display for Shaylin. She says, let's do it again. They're going to charge at each other again. Oh, this time Garcia spears her. Just sits her down on the canvas. Yeah, nice little double leg seconds, there. 30 seconds. Not quite the acrobatic slam you had the first time around. You see Garcia again, just complete control right now. Shay looking to see if she can manufacture something late here. Can she sit back on this guillotine? Seconds, She's trying to get her arm under there. Arm is in on that guillotine. Just trying to squeeze the come from behind here, but I don't know if she has the angle on it. Nope. Oh, Garcia's see it free. Loses oh. control of that. Nice last come effort, on, that's for sure. It really was. You see both these women exhausted after a grueling effort that goes the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has gone all three three-minute rounds. We've turned the decision over to our judges at ringside. Rob Murray scores this 29-26. Shelby Dahl scores it 29-28. And Chris Bay scores it 29 28 a unanimous decision representing the black team Monica. Like that, but it was the right call. It was the right call. Oh, I completely agree. Monica Garcia is celebrating it. Oh, Shailen poured some water on her. Don't do that, that was 
one hell of a hard-fought victory right there. I have to ask, as a former LFC champion, after a victory like that, do you have your sights set on reclaiming that title? Uh, yes, that's all I gotta do. I'm back and I'm here to stay the next. <laughs> all right, short and sweet. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner by unanimous decision, Monica Flowerbottom. <laughs> wow. No thank you, she said. Your guitar passes on the glove touch. All business. Cold main event here at LFC 37. You know. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! That's what you get for feeling the goods. What an introduction there. And you see Spicy Fist holding on to the ropes there to keep her in position. I don't know if she wants to dirty box too much in here with Batara. Oh, but the leaping oh, kick to the ground there. My goodness, what a start here from Feisty Fist. But Batara picks her up and lifts her over the shoulder. Oh! oh big slam, big power. Really big power there. You saw Feisty Fist try to get the legs up. Oh, dropping the elbows. <laughs> but Batara, the big ground and pound. She's familiar with this position, of course. Yes, indeedy. London underneath trying to control the wrist. See that maybe she can set up something on the arm. You see Batara just lifts her into the air, powering her up, strength. Oh! But it allows London to get back to the feet there. I thought we might have a little Rampage Jackson S slam there. Instead, London back on the feet. They're showing the Muay Thai, but Batara with the answer. Yeah, good job working those leg shots. Big punches being thrown there. Tara controls from the front headlock position. Oh, nice shot to the midsection. Yeah, really nice work to the body there. Oh, look at that. Lifts under, lateral drop, slam to the canvas. Nice work from Batara. Now she's trying to land big ground and pound from the top. London with a few knees to the body underneath. Batara steps over there. Watch out, oh, Kira. Oh, knee on belly there. Don't give her the back now. More ground and pound. Okay. Steps One over minute. to mount. Minute, Kira, Batar really enjoying top position right now. Left. Yeah. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Easily right. having her way, just working from mount. Side mount. London gets on, back to her feet. Right, you look at the look in the eye there. She shoots from range. Batara oh, snuffed out just a little oh. bit. Good job. Good job to actually stop that double leg. London counters with the slam. 45 seconds. Oh, 45 seconds. Back Ooh, to the feet there. Strikes being traded. 45 seconds. 45 seconds to go. Big kicks nice to the kicks. body, yeah. Keep using those feet. Feet are looking good. Oh, Batar. She's going to try to lift her, take him around again. Drops her on her back. Batara shining here in her LFC debut. Yeah, she really is. Showing that experience gained on the big stage there at Bellator. Clapper there for the final 10 seconds here. Batara on top. We'll see if maybe she can attack the arm here briefly. Can she get something late as they sweep London to the top and she'll finish there. Maybe a couple shots after the bell. Batara not too happy about that. Understandably so. Yeah. Referee Sarah Wolf steps in and ushers the fighters back to their respective corners. Kicks are great. You got space. A lot of really good action. You know that. You know it's tough to score on some of these ones. I'm actually kind of leaning towards London a little bit. I think some of the kicks that she was able to do, but Batar did do a really good job being able to take her down and get her in some dangerous positions. But I don't know. I'm kind of leaning on London on that one. It's tough. I mean, Batar did have some nice slams as well. Uh, but you're right, they didn't necessarily establish the position after yeah. the slams. But they were kind of those high-impact slams where they actually did some damage. So we'll see. Again, let's not forget London stepped in here on short, short notice, notice, right? Yeah. So after it was kind of a grueling first round, how does she stand here for round, round number two? Oh, no, we're going to find out. Tara drives the action into the turnbuckle. Big oh, big shots. Yeah. Shoulder there as well. Oh, now 
Oh, look at really this. cranking on that ankle. Oh. London able to get it. Look at the cartwheel there off the rope. Oh, oh you can't, a huge you can't get in the, the showboat mode while your opponent's still in there. She, she really did. Now, Batar instead calling to the crowd. He said, hey, she can show off. I can show off, too. How about this? London rushes forward there into the clinch. Batar, look at this. Front control there, tries to step up on the ropes. Yeah, she's getting some extra little twerk off of that. Oh, got to be careful. She doesn't go through the ropes oh, here. No, she London's going to try to drive her off the side. Oh, wait. She's arm bar arm. from there. Can she extend this arm as she's hanging out on the outside of the ropes? Precarious position for both fighters. Has to let it go. Abatara working, working the judges there a little bit. I mean, he might as well make a case as long as you're there. Playing to the crowd as well as you see Terry London over there talking with Coach Joel Kane. And uh, looks Let's like the arm is still elbow. hurt. Oh, oh, big slap. We saw that earlier. You can while you're down. That's right. Oh, but Batara rolls to attack the leg. Now the arm has been hurt. She's putting pressure on the leg here as well. Batara is talking to her as you hear London screaming out in pain. Oh, twerking the back there as well. Big body shot as well. That right arm is extended. Oh. That's a tap. Got wow. it with the straight arm bar. I think she overextended the arm. Yes, she did. Kira Batara gets it done with the submission. Impressive stuff there. I think she initially heard it on that arm bar on the outside yep. of the ropes and yep. then came back in and attacked it again inside. And Magwai, Kira Batara, the MMA veteran, Gets the submission win. One hell of a day. Oh, oh, Terry London. <laughs> London is not happy. But with reason. I mean, your arm has got to be in a lot, a lot of pain. But hey, you got to give it up to Batara, man. What a debut. Prez is in there talking with AJ Kirsch. Maybe, I mean, I thought it was a, a legitimate submission. Let's find out. Let's take it to AJ Kirsch. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Sarah Wolf, has put a stop to this contest. Two minutes. 21 seconds into round number two. As a result of a submission, your winner, representing the yellow team, Kira Nova. Wow, what a debut. What a debut. I saw the Prez come over and talk to Hater because I think Hater's trying to poach her. Absolutely. Trying to get it for that team because he didn't get a chance to get her before. But man, with an impressive perform performance like that, I can see why. And fighting in the black team, Sarah the Beast Brook. All right, let's take another look at the tail of tape here. Sarah the Beast Brook coming in 0 and 2, an MMA fighter, 5'3, 125 pounds. Following out, it's scheduled for three rounds, three minutes per round. Introduce you first in the black corner. She's an MMA specialist with a professional record of zero wins and two losses. Candy, five feet three inches tall and weighing in at 125 pounds and fighting out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Sarah Tati. In the blue corner with a professional record of zero wins and one loss. She's a two-tipsy specialist, standing five feet, three inches tall, and weighing in at 140 pounds. She's fighting out of Miami, Florida, Mia Mahanamrella. 
if I was up there, I'd be butchering my own name. Let me make it. I'm looking forward to this. I've never been excited to hope wardrobe malfunction in my life. Hey, worry about it. Mia already talking trash. And straight at it. This is the Battle of Florida going on right here. Nice toss. Sarah on top. Sarah in the black and gold. And it looks like Mia in a uh, cheetah print bottom. Cheetah sort of all around print. <laughs> Sarah well, doing a good job taking the back, working, trying to go for a check. Just half the of choke. a print. We could do a little less, a little less print, a little just, a little less see, a little more see through. It is see through. Oh, is that what that is? You know what that is. Sarah doing a good job, sitting there maintaining the top control. Pay attention to the fight the and I'm not trying. her outfit. I'm trying, I'm trying. Mayhem on top, rather. Ooh, working that neck, working the elbow right there in the neck, making it hard to breathe. Oh, good job of uh, Sarah right there, trying to work around, grabbing the head cord. Looks like she can try to work into a triangle choke. She's doing a good job of working out. She let it go. And he was able to kind of get out of that little position, work back on the top, trading in some punches towards the midsection. Oh, we had a great view to the camera. Who is this guy sitting in there? And there we got Mia. Try to work that in there. So she's got the little scissor lock going on the body, constricting the breathing a little. Those 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 strikes to the to the gluteus really can hurt eventually, as much as they please. Little tough position here. She's got Medusa on her thigh. Is this the new coach? He is on the bottom. She looks like she was trying to work for possibly a sort of Camaro from the bottom. Could either use that to try to get to the side or try to get up, but eventually was forced to let go of it. Just punching her butt. Brooke, yeah. I mean, when you're in a tough position, you can't get out. You got to try to weaken the legs a little bit. If she can, if she can hurt him enough, it'll break the possibly that hold that she's got around her. Looks like she's already starting to able to turn around, and then once she gets in there, she'll be on top control. Mayhem actually delivering a couple shots to the, the backside of her own, working to the top here, but still stuck in that body lock. Bit of a star, wouldn't be surprised at some point the ref's gonna call, maybe get a little action, maybe stand him up if we don't see something. Or might even just reposition him closer to the middle. There's the, and separate a little bit and get a little separate action. Brooke coming in, grabbing the head, and there's the end of the round. That's tough, that was tough, back and forth. That's a tough one to sort of, uh, to judge. Well, they were kind of just stuck there for a while. I'm surprised she didn't break them up. They were just kind of on top of each other. Yeah. Well, at least some points you got to give them a little time to see if they can work the position. When, you know, it's tough to get in top control sometimes. You know, you, you kind of want to let the fighter fight out of it, you know, and if you're in the bottom, you don't want to take it away. But yeah, at some point, you just want some action, right? You just want to kind of keep it going. But looking forward to see what we're going to see in the second round. Thank you, Mai, for coming around, showing us, and looking good doing it. Brooks ready to get the action started. Last bits of words from Coach Crody. Here we go. Leg kicks being thrown by both competitors. Brooks coming in, looks like she's trying to work into a bit of a guillotine, securing the head. Mayhem staying busy, even in a bad position, trying to do some strikes from the bottom, see if she can't break free. Brooks pulling her down, trying to pull her in, trying to work in, see if she can slide over into top control. She's trying to get that leg over. Mayhem doing a good job trying to keep her, not giving her that full amount by securing that one leg there. It's one of those fights that's going to be very, very time for her. If she's going to try to hold that leg lock the whole time, it's going to be very tough. Brooke doing a good job. 
Holding both arms down, trying to get that top control. Looks like she wanted to jump in the mount. Mayhem doing a good job holding leg. her off. <laughs> yeah, it's got that leg keeping her keeping her out of there. Yep. She's gonna oh. Watch that, she's gonna get launched. Oh, there you go. Coming. Nice job to explode off the ground. Mayhem pushing her away and then able to secure. She's in, got that arm underneath. Maybe eventually try to transition to an arm and head choke. Working the midsection there, good shot. <laughs> Mayhem on the bottom, pulling the head in. Looks like she's trying to work in it. She's eventually going to try to go for triangle. She tries to secure that left arm. We have to watch out. She's tapping. She's tapping. Oh. The leg, the scissor choke again, getting a victim. Ugh. Mayhem is not having a good run, but she's giving her all. She, she's certainly impressing me with what she's putting out up there. I mean, yeah, she was doing good, but she's going to have to win. <laughs> well, I hope to see more from her. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. We have a winner. And taking a bow and looking good to it. Sarah the Beast Brook now one and two in the LFC with her first victory with a submission over Mia Mayhem and Abella. Both fighters showing a little bit of respect, talking a little trash. But uh, still looking good doing it. Who's gonna win? That's all we fucking do on the block here. I got a single job around my squad. I ain't got a single job around my squad. I ain't got a single job around my Bit of a touch, more of a punch, early punch. Holly, I don't know about you, I'm excited about this one. Both fighter quick to just keep talking back and forth. Certainly no love lost in this one. Charging straight in the middle. Bella just barreling forward. Yeah. Takes Jolene down with just pure brute force. Working in top control, but oh, That's with the reversal. Bella. Jolene is on top. Oh. Your favorite. Uh, I wouldn't put nothing past her, so Bella needs to stay on her toes. You got to give her credit. She fought you last night, and here she is again fighting another tough opponent. That's it. That's it. Got to give her credit, there but she's go. in a tough spot there. There you go. Make her tap. A little tight submission. Look. Quick strikes from both of them in matching scissor locks. There's worse spots to be in. Jolene is not happy. I tell you, folks, these two do not like each other. You never know what you're going to get. Jolene is not happy with how things are going. Both fighters happy to come in and start trading shots. It's like the old Rock and Sockham game. Just stand in the middle, training back and forth, see who's going to drop first, whose head's going to pop off. Or maybe who's tops going to fall off. There's nothing to fall off. <laughs> oh, that kick to the midsection. Oh, oh and then. She runs over and able to jump into the full mount. She Big just, shot to the head. She just plopped on her. Bella with the wedgie defense. Looks like she with the, was able to kind of pull into a wedgie and able to <laughs> turn that over. That's a, that's a different move. You ever tried that move before? No. A little wedgie pull? I can't say I've pulled a wedgie on anyone during the fight. Looks like Jolene. Securing the arm, looks like she's gonna try to go for an arm bar. Playing with a little bit, enjoying oh. being in top position there. Oh, Bella on. able to kind of work out of it a little bit. Yep. Getting the top control herself. Oh, Oh, nice shots to the midsection. Wow. Bella did not like that at all. Grimacing in pain. There you go, take her down. And back in full mount. Look at that, a of little, twerk, little twerk drop on the midsection. And then and working this, again with the strikes. This kid right here is getting first front row seats. That's right. To some what women. Better way, what uh, better way to learn? 
about fighting. Then it's Sturgis, huh? Then it's Sturgis. Get Stay on top of it, Bella. Bella takes a quick shot from Jolene. Jolene happy to stand up and taunt her a little bit. And that's the end of round one, folks. Thank you to the lovely Lainey Kessler getting us ready for round two. As both coaches giving words of advice to her opponent. Bella stalking the opposite end of the ring. Jolene is not happy. They're coming forward looking for payback. Both fighters meet in the middle, happy to trade strikes back and forth. Oh, looked like Bella was trying to go for a clinch, but unfortunately that did not work as well, but she's still able to work it out and then get into top control. Jolene working hard to get out of that. Does her, and then now Jolene turns it over, now smother, and there's another, uh, I don't even know what to call that little twerk damn. drop on the, the midsection her there. Little twerking hump move she does on everyone, like oh, always. So did she, that's right, she did twerk on you a little bit last night, huh? No, I did. Oh, uh, okay, well then I guess she doesn't do it on everybody. That's why you're the prez. Well, I don't, I don't remember if she did. But and then back to action. Jolene is happy. Oh, a nice little slap to the face. Oh, please don't hurt that face. Oh, both oh, of them. Goodness. Oh, what the? What is this? A Look cat at that fight little now? standing. They know they're not supposed to do standing strikes to those lovely faces. But both of them are quick to trade. Brooke able to get in there and separate them, give them both a verbal warning. Uh. So is Jolene gonna get disqualified again tonight? You never know, that was crazy. But you, you got the win with the disqualification, but it still just leaves your head shaking. Still can't quite understand what happened there, but I guess we'll see. Oh, there you go, take her down. Bella jumps into the clinch, cranking the head. Oh. Jolene forced to take her down. And unfortunately for Bella, giving her top position down full mount. Oh now God! With, of course she's gonna hump now her. Now with the, the neck submission, crank smother move. Oh, she is pulling it. That is just the torque on the back of the neck. Is she gonna tap? Is she gonna tap? Oh, she tapped, fuck. folks. There it is. Oh, of course she tapped. Wow. Ugh. You figure some people would just try to stay in that position, but that had to be painful. Painful. In fact, she's still on the ground. Wow, Jolene able to get the victory. By submission, the winner of the PT, Jolene the Valkyrie. Thank you guys. Bella not happy. Some would call that the Stockton salute on the backside, even though she's hailing out of Nashville, but I won't let her uh, take that move away from the Diaz brothers. <laughs> Both girls quick to still come back to each other. But man, that is the action we thought and what that means. Oh, and Aubrey oh. once again goes after Bella. These two almost got into it last night. Both fighters got help coming in. You got Brooke coming in. You got Daisy Ducati trying to separate oh these two. Oh, my God. You couldn't keep these two away last night. Now even I'm Coach done. Crody comes in. I'm, I'm telling you, you. I'm firing everybody. Except for me. Except for me. Please. Trying to separate the girls. These two do not like each other. Had the same thing happen last night. I'm telling you, Aubrey is an absolute maniac. Drop her off the, drop her off the side. Get her, Bella. Get her, get her, Bella. Kick her out. Bella going after again, keeping her on the ring. This action is, this is better than the fight itself. Brooke is trying to help. They're trying to separate, but these two are just going at it. Daisy, Daisy trying to separate. Get her, get we got the right. hair pool. At this point, you know everything's going. You know hair pools can't happen in fight, but the fight after the fight, who knows? Prez, you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to lay down the law here. taking these goddamn shoes off. So I can. Boy, was that the main event before the main event? More sportsmanship than that with baby doll parts. Although, oh, and it's not so now! 
to Silva is crazy. All right, ladies, you know the rules. No standing strikes to the face. Keep the action moving on the ground and get right, go back to your corners and come out swinging. All right, so Ali Baby Doll Parks in the black top. Shelly Aphrodite the Silva in the all green. Definitely have a case of two wrestlers feeling each other out here, kind of sensing it, but nice strong leg work there. Yeah, a lot of times when you do have two wrestlers, you'll see it play out on striking, at least to start with. You think, oh, nice kick to the midsection there and a kick to the leg as well. Parks pressing in from the outside. Looks like still a thought maybe she grabbed the hair a little bit as she was trying I, to I think there the might have been a little bit of hair grabbing on both sides there. A little tug there. Big shots across the bat. Reversal position, Aphrodite on the outside now. Battling for position. Zeke Hagelin again, apparently not too worried about the cage grabbing. Yeah. Baby Dolls returning some of those knees to the thighs. Yeah, big battle for positions here. This is grinding work. You know, not always maybe the most pretty. Ooh, nice knee to the midsection. But it's 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 hard. Yeah, that, that'll wear you out. That'll that'll just drain the energy from you. Continue to reverse. You want the outside position when you're here against the cage. You want to be the one with your back to the center. That's why each of them is battling to try to get the dominant position. You have a lot more options. He's inside there. Just grinding work from both these ladies. Leg, maybe maybe she wants to go down. Oh, she's got to she got to watch her neck there. Trying to grab the guillotine. You can see Parks trying to press forward, shake her neck free. Tough to get it from the standing position. There she goes, jumping to guard. Oh wow. Shelly De Silva selling out on this guillotine choke, going to the ground oh, in deep. full guard. Tough spot here for Baby Doll Park. She's punching in it right now. She might want to try to break the grip. Grimace on De Silva's face there. She tries to finish in the final seconds. Won't get it. Shelly Baby Doll Parks in the black. Shelly Aphrodite. Oh, she spit Great. in the face. Wow. <laughs> That's a way to start around with some uh, adjustments. Yeah, but she, all she did was fire up Parks and <laughs> went in straight for the double leg takedown. And like I said, she's got a chip on her shoulder with some nice strikes there from the top. But now it's Baby Doll Parks on top, punching away at the ribs, enjoying top position with De Silva with full guard underneath. Closed guard as well, we should say, looking to control the body. She does open it up there, and right away, Park steps over the left, and now out to side control. Side control. De Silva just turns to her knees, stands up, and now looking for that neck again. Yeah. Wants to grab that guillotine right away. Oh, odd position there. It is, but that puts a lot of pressure on the back of the neck. That could be very, very painful yeah, the and very tiring. Double grapevine there on the legs, and then you can see she's trying to pull down on the head as well. Parks does pull free. We continue to grapple. Fun stuff on the floor between these two. The reversal, oh, slick reversal there from Parks in the mount. Just talking about the reversals that they have. Really enjoying it. Deeks about the arm, not there. They both go back to the feet. Parks controlling the neck as they stand. Tried to set up, oh, look at that slick little move there. Looked like it was gonna be a judo toss yeah. instead. Came with the trip and now going for the knee bar. Putting pressure on that right leg. Unless she was trying to look like maybe a Gogo Plata. She was trying to. Kudos to the wrestler. And I didn't go for the arm bar at the end, but time runs out. Wow, that is a tough one to score, Ken Hathaway. I mean, be one and one. You know, it's, it's probably safe to say this is this is the round they need to take. All right. Quick start here again. It's Ali Baby Doll Parks in the black top there. Shelly Aphrodite De Silva in the green. Scores could be anywhere as we go into this third round. So every moment is going to be key. I don't think either lady can feel comfortable about the scorecards. I think they'll be looking for the finish. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of clench work. This, is, this stuff is brutally tiring. It might look like they're standing there just holding on, but, folks, that is the most tiring thing Absolutely. that could possibly happen. The pushing and the pulling. Pushing and, and pulling nonstop. Beautiful sweep to the top there from De Silva. She's now in mount. To, to more of that coming in. There's another sweep from Baby Doll Parks. Now she's in top again. Let's see what she can do with it. Both of these ladies have shown to be dangerous from all positions. We've seen some wild submission attempts. We've seen 
Some guard passes just like this. Baby Doll Parks easily past the legs, out in the side control. Grinding away from the top. Left arm trapped underneath there for Aphrodite De Silva. She's throwing the knees from her back there. I like that. Look at that. The flexibility and the power to be able to bring that knee to the body. You hear Leon Hader telling his fighters she needs to get up. You don't want to spend too much time on your back. Regardless if you're active from the back and throwing strikes, it never looks good for the judges. Yeah, the judges just don't ever seem to value. Even, I mean, non-stop submission attempts. They don't seem to do that. She complained about maybe an eye poke there. Baby Doll Parks, the referee has not called it. The Silva right on the back going for the choke now. Defend yourself at all times, folks. Oh, that's deep. Dangerous moments here for Baby Doll Parks. She this choke is in, is in deep. She's trying to battle away the arms. You can see she's doing the right thing, trying to create some space, pull the arms away. De Silva is cranking everything into that choke. They go to the uh -oh. ground on the floor now. Baby Doll Parks se seems to say she's okay. Nah, not pressure there. Look at, trying to get it not there. Now switches right away to the rear naked. Look at this series of chokes. Parks is in all kinds of trouble here. Just 10 seconds left in the third and final round. There she gives herself a little bit of breathing room, moving that wrist. Can she get the finish here at the end? Wow, gutsy stuff there from Ali Baby Doll Parks. She was in trouble position after position. Right, let's take it up and get the official position. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has gone the distance. All three three-minute rounds. We turn the decision over to our judges. At cage side. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by unanimous decision. Representing the black team, Shelly Aphrodite De Silva. Yeah, no question about it, kid. That second round was close, but round one and round three, I think, were pretty, pretty comfortable for De Silva, who picks up her first win. And Congratulations, or, okay. She's afraid she might try to pull her off the cage. Fortunately, there was more sportsmanship than that with Baby Doll Parks. Although, oh, and it's not so now. My God. De Silva is crazy. Literally crazy. Oh, and now she's pulling the hair. the hair. Wow, chaos in the LSC cage. Aphrodite De Silva, fresh off the two event suspension, picks up the win. But can't help but have a little extracurricular activity. Yeah. Well, congratulations to her. I don't know if she made too many fans tonight. Ma'am, she's having her interview, please. Yeah, yeah, maybe you get Stanley's cage. Why don't you just go? Huh? Why don't you just go? Oh. Oh. Post-fight activities here during the post-fight interview. We're going to go on round three, security coming in. Oh, was able to get it over that head and arm choke. Wasn't sure if she was going to be able to get it, but Jenny Valentine did finally tweak it over. Steps over to Mount. Beautiful advance there. Make sure you play the earrings. Valentine controlling. Starting to turn her back. Oh, there's pressure on the arm. Yeah. She had to sweep again. The arm bar is there. Looks like she's trying to set it up. Valentine pounding away on the right side. Valentine just incredibly aggressive. Looking for that guillotine choke now from the kneeling position. Is that the tap? Got the tap. Wow. Impressive stuff there. Guillotine choke from the kneeling position. She had been threatening with submissions the entire time and finally got in the guillotine choke. Very good stuff. Saw some concerns there from the crowd. I think Leon Hader wasn't even sure what happened there. The move came in. Ginny Valentine gets her first win. Batiera. Not happy with that. Calling back to that foul from the opening round. But the foul was called. Oh, and it takes the it back. Let's take it up to the official goal to get the official result. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
about it. Pulling open the lingerie. I'm okay with that defense about here. Keep going. Amal misses the rear naked choke. First getting into her guard. Working the body there. Working out to the top position. Later stages of round one here. China, that's one of the most grueling aspects of this sport. It's just the, the oh, non-stop oh, grappling. Oh, Ooh, oh nice slam. she falls down to her back. Vatiera back to her feet. And you can see it is taking a toll already. Both women taking a couple of deep breaths as they reset on the feet. Get that double leg, let's go. Come on. Watch her double leg, Jess. Oh, oh, oh. oh did you punch her? Great. Definitely I saw a bit of a. Fighter to your corner. It looked like she, she, she catch you in the face, no punch. No hit to the face. Yeah, that's been one of the, the that's yeah. been one of the biggest contested things about this is getting the getting the, the strikes at base. I know Maxine Cross wants to get strikes allowed, but they're not legalizing now. Fortunately, Sean Hackett did see it because Batier exposed her back. I think Jenny Valentine is going to take it. The timeout was called, and we will restart after the warning. Jenny's got a look in her eyes. She wants a little payback, I think. It's all right. Into the first round there. Tension there at the end. A warning for the foul there for Jenny Valentine. But uh, listen, I, good good work by Batier at the end. But I think going into the round one, you've got to think that that was a, that was a Jenny Valentine round. You know, I'm a little more than distracted by the ring guys that have now shown up here. All the looks going on here. I'm impressed. But back to the action. The action. Jessica Batier in the black, Ginny Valentine in the red. Want to try to move towards the judo? Oh, oh was able to get it over that head and arm choke. Wasn't sure if she was going to be able to get it, but Ginny Valentine did finally tweak it over. That looks tight. Steps, Steps over to the mount. Beautiful advance there. Valentine controlling. Come on, throw turn her back. Oh, there's the pressure on the arm. Yeah. She had to speak again. The arm bar is there. Looks like she's trying to set it up. Oh, nice like shots to the body. On the right side. There you go. just incredibly aggressive. Look at that guillotine yeah. choke now from the kneeling position. Is that the that tap? The oh, we got, got the, tap. the tap. Wow. There it was. Jenny Valentine is in the win column. Impressive stuff there. Guillotine choke from the kneeling position. She had been threatening with submissions the entire time. And that was finally slick. That got was in the slick transition. Very good stuff. Yeah. Saw some concerns there from the crowd. I think Leon Hayter wasn't even sure what happened there. The move came in. Ginny Valentine gets her first win. Yeah, after she cheated. Ooh, there's still some bad not happy with that. Calling back that foul from the opening round. But foul was called. I mean, we carried on and the fight was over. It's taken up to to get the option Go back to Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sean Hackett has called a stop to the action. That's one minute and 58 seconds of round number two for your winner, representing the pink team, representing the black team, Jenny Bloody Valentine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
a woman making, and you're staring holes through. I have to ask you first, why are you staring a hole through your opponent? No, 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 I don't want to run into the cage. Come back in here. All right? I don't even, I don't even know what your name is. I forgot. All I know is that you think that you can walk in here into the LFC? Oh, I'm sorry. Zero wins and 13 loses. Oh. 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 No, you, you just showed how well of a winner you are, right? I'll, I'll, yeah. Well, I still want to come back, so yeah. Sure. I mean, Jenny, you did get a submission tonight. How was it tapping out your opponent here tonight? That's the way it should be every single time. And I don't know what happened in the past. Ma'am, she's having her interview, please. Yeah, yeah, maybe you can get Stanley the cage. Why don't you just go? Oh! Oh! Post-fight activities here during the post-fight interview. Well, we're going to go on this round three, go. security coming in. Luckily separating the two. That could have that been that 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 bad. We would have seen right, bonus round. Once again, give it up for Jenny Bloody Valentine. Green, huge mismatch in terms of experience. We'll see how that translates to the action. It's going to get underway momentarily as soon as we get the black. Kick and they started big shots to the body as well. The newcomer came to play. Knees inside. Big punches as well. Hatch trying to slow things down. Oh, tried for the head and arm choke. Did get to the top. Almost made a mistake there. In gets some steps to mount. What an incredible start here. Oh, Bell and arm. Nice strikes to the midsection. Hex moving underneath, trying to stop this onslaught. Ink rolls out to the side there. Looks like she tried to grab the neck as she went. Quick break there to... That was nice of Hex to help her out there. Wardrobe issues. And back to the action. What a flurry of activity from Bella. Yeah, we'll see if that ended up being a break for Hex. Big shots to the body from both women. Nice shots to nice the sec pace. mid section. Oh. Nice kicks. Works. Kicks to the leg. Kicks to the body. Oh, trip back. Oh, Jermaine now it's getting the mount. Oh, oh big this is shots payback. To the top. Nice shots to the stomach. It's getting a little payback for that first flurry that she got. Absolutely. A firm mount there in place. See, he does get the sweep to the top now, though. Back and forth we go. Hex kicks away, but can't quite get back to her feet. Thank you, punching away from her opponent's guard. What an incredible, oh wow. Are you starting from a similar position there, I guess? Mount there. The arm, nice reversal. Beautiful sweep to the top. Back and forth again. The action continues. Legs are high on the shoulder, looking for a potential triangle choke there from underneath. Yeah, Jolene's really got to watch that arm. She's in a bad position, and she really needs to get her head out of there. Next, doing her best Good to punch job. away, Getting breaks out. the grip, backs away. Strikes here on the feet again. It's been nonstop action since this fight began. Good job working here. in the midsection, trading blows in the midsection. Nice knee to the head. Big knees here to close. Final seconds of this opening round. Dirty boxing inside there, knees, and that is the first. Wow. Well, listen, impressive stuff there from Bell Inc. Now, Jolene Hex was able to turn things around at the end. But I, so I thought Hex did a great job at the end uh, of reversing things. I think she might have gained some momentum. So I think. Wow. Tensions are getting high in here. They really are. A cool venue here at the Nerd, and uh, the crowd right on top of the action. And uh, some of the fighters, some of the audience in there. All right, what is Bella doing right now? About ready wow. to start round two. She's just calling for action. Oh! Wow. Hex was ready to rip her off that cage. All right, here we go. Round two underway. 
Jolene the Valkyrie Hex in the green, Bella Inc. in the black. Nice strike to the side. Quick start on the game. Control the head there as he said, a little snap down there. Rolled over straight to side control. Beautiful move there. Very nice. Oh, Valkyrie. controlling the arm. For, oh, I thought she was going for a crucifix at first, but she just used it to secure the mount position. Mount instead. Oh. Spreading the legs out if she really. It's like she wants to just stare in her eyes and intimidate her. Oh, stepping over the arm there. This could be trouble. Oh, squeezing the leg there, inverted triangle as well. Wow. Hex is enjoying it, telling her to kiss her kiss ass. Kiss the ass. Wow. Ooh, is there a bite? Adding injury to insult there. I mean, there's definitely some pressure on that inverted triangle. You've got to think this could potentially be a submission. But Hex just looking at it as an opportunity to kind of uh, that is a tough make position fun to of her opponent. Of. Trash talking as she looks for the submission. That is, that is tight. She's in a bad spot here. She's bucking and rolling, trying to do anything. That arm is stuck in there. It's got to be so tiring to be in that position. Oh, working the midsection. Nice elbow. There's the tap. There's the tap. Just couldn't take it any longer. With the as well. finger. Well, credit to Bella Inc. because I thought she put on a heck of a performance in here, but uh, Hex got to that position, that inverted triangle, and uh, there was just a ton of pressure in there. And uh, Inc. Inc. finally had to tap. I mean, she fought as long as she could. I think that's an incredible debut against the reigning European champion. Excellent, Ladoy. We know there's history there. Oh, wow! Oh, they're grabbing. Don't let him go at it! Oh, I got break it up, break it up, break it up, break it up. Wow, tensions have been high tonight in the wow. LFC cage. Wow. Lots of action in the cage and out of the cage it's here at the Nerd Bar. Everywhere. You never know where it's coming from. All right, let's take it up and get the official result. Christian Cole. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and 35 seconds of round number two, referee Sean Hackett has called a stop to the action due to tap out by submission for your winner, Jolene Kalkaline Folks, I'm standing by with Jolene Hex. Jolene, you came in as the European champ. You got a win here in the second round as Jolene goes to grab her championship title in a few words. Jolene, if we'll step in for an interview, please. I'm trying to get her belt. I just my belt right there, like I did before. Jolene, it's worth talking about that your video on LFC's YouTube is the most watched video at LFC at over four and a half million views. How has that been transitioning into a viral star here in the LFC? I'm not complaining. I thought it was pretty awesome. So, maybe. Yes, and, and tonight you came in, the European champ. You got a decisive victory. She tapped out. Your ground and pound looks fantastic. Your grappling skills on the canvas look really good. How does it feel to walk out of victory tonight? As always, really, really, really good. I noticed that you're actually making eye contact with someone cage side. I want to know what the story is. You seem to be staring daggers. It's a very long story. It seems to be a very long story. Some words between the two of you. What's going on here with the lady here, Kaysa? Oh, it's just on your side and passion. I'm just going to tell you my name. Oh, sexual Andrea. Andrea. The storm. Come on, Doi. Um, I beat her. You, you beat the storm, and there seems to be some anger between the two of you. She's great, great time. No, she loves it. She loves it. Well, there it is. Your European champion, Jolene Hex. All right, Jolene Hex picks up the victory. Looks impressed with doing it, but Bella Inc. did impress in her debut. I know we'll see more of her in the LSC cage. Discipline, desire, dedication, and dependability. When you talk about her father's background, that explains a lot of it. And you can see a tattoo on her left side. It's all about being in the moment. And to me, sports, that's what sports is all about. 
you got to be in the moment. If you dwell on the past, it's just going to depress you. If you dwell on the future, it's going to make you tense. Be in the present. Be in the moment. And that's what Chelsea adheres to. And you're going to see her execute her plan here. A lovely lady and just absolutely loves to fight. Let's go to Mike Adams for the introduction. She plays safety on that football team, suffered a shoulder injury. So coming into this, it's kind of been under the radar this week, but she's coming in here not quite 100%. We'll see if that factors into the fight at all. Yeah, she told me she hurt her shoulder on a tight end sweep. And I thought, tight end sweep. I've never heard it referred to that, but we're going to go with that. But I think that's great. An all-around athlete, Erickson, playing football. And this is the thing. I mean, they're making progress. The NFL now, the Arizona Cardinal now has Jen Walter, who's a coach. Now an official coach that was brought in. Now this year we're going to have an NFL referee. It's incredible to see. An NFL referee. So women are making their way into sports. And ladies like Erickson and London and all these ladies, the pioneers to get these ladies in sports where they belong. And I'm fine with it. As long as they're, they're, comp uh, they're, they're competent, let them be there. So we are ready for these lovely, lovely ladies. And again, this is MMA like you've never seen it before. And these are women that are dressed to fight, but they look great, John. And that's the great thing about it. So I think we are ready here for the official introduction. Let's go to Mike Adams. The instructions are given by the referee. And again, the pink team are going to be, the coaches are Joe Kane, assisted by Leon Clay. The black team, Michael Modest is the coach. He's being assisted by Joshua Sardina. Your judges, Mike Kahn, Bill Ledeker, and Mike Martin. Ready? And pink. this fight pink. under the auspices of the Ready? Nevada Lingerie Athletic Commission. And the, this is uh, Ms. Lizzie Hunter, the commissioner. We are ready for round number one. Fitting you see right away, obviously Lauren Erickson, the much bigger fighter. Pass on the glove touch, not interested at all. Complaints early there from Erickson. Exactly and right away, Chelsea doesn't like it. Go back to your corner. Kelsey going, going back to her corner. They're talking to Joe Kane, her coach. London in the pink gloves there, the more technical striker. Oh, fantastic takedown there from Erickson. Beautiful outside trip. And now they're going down. And again, a lot of these girls, John, very adept at, in, on the ground fighting yep. and striking the body right off the bat, trying to work that body. Look at the way she works those kicks. Fantastic spinning elbow there from Chelsea London. But now back on her back, you see the strength advantage that Erickson brings to the table. Erickson just muscling her way to top position. And you know, John, one of the things, that the, the part here, as far, as far as when they get down on the ground, it's really important as far as, you know, the leverage that they end up getting. And then these girls are getting very adept at establishing that good leverage when they get down. It is, you can see, but Erickson backs away. She had, while she had an advantageous position on the ground, I think she likes her strength advantage on the feet as well. Get her getting inside again, just muscling London to the floor. Got him, boy. Get her up, get her up. 
You know, Ericsson just seems so much bigger than London. So physically, she seems to be superior. She really is, and doing a fantastic job of using that strength to her advantage. And again, just backing away. You see London trying to get a little trip there, does it, but can't get top position. Beautiful grappling exchanges for two women that are known to strike. Uh, I'm very impressed with Lauren Erickson's grappling right now. Man, I, I thought London was oh, 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 she throws slam. her down, slaps her down there. And that's a lot of work. Oh, to the arm bar. She's got, got it. Back. She's got it. And that's it. Wow. What a move right there by Chelsea London. Erickson saying she didn't tap, complaining that she didn't tap. A little bit of an altercation there. I, I thought I saw the right hand hit the ground. The left arm was fully extended. Fantastic technique there from Chelsea London. But Erickson complaining that she didn't tap. And the referee was right on top of that. He was looking for it. So are we going to have to go to the commission here to find out? Again, the commissioner, Ms. Lizzie Hunter. Referee has called to stop to this fight. Well, maybe not. Let's see what it, yep, he's going to stick with his decision. Yeah, he's asking for the official time. He's sticking with the decision. No, 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 no. And Mike Adams is going to come in and give us the official time. So it is an arm bar. It's a submission. Fantastic technique. Chelsea London was getting thrown around. But that's the beauty of mixed martial arts. I, even though it was at a strength disadvantage, was able to use technique to her advantage from bottom position, was able to roll out to that arm bar and get the submission. And I, for what it's worth, I, th I thought Erickson tapped. I thought so too. And I thought the referee was right on top of her. And uh, so now we'll get the official time here from Mike Adams. At 2.12 of round number one, your winner by way of submission arm bar from Orlando, Florida, yeah. Chelsea. strength advantage I thought was going to see her cruise to a victory and again right there trying to get some leverage goes to the ground and then all of a sudden John you saw how all of a sudden Lauren Erickson used her size to her advantage yeah but here was the finish here Chelsea London if you watch the right hand there was the tap I don't understand the complaint all the credit in the world to Chelsea London for pulling off that submission kick to the legs oh. now let's go to the official introduction Mike Adams our next bout of the evening will be three rounds, uh, three minutes per round, and your referee in charge of all the action, Aruba. And now introducing first, representing the pink team. She's five foot six, weighed in 130 pounds. She calls Las Vegas, Nevada, her home. Ladies and gentlemen, Riley Nuclear Norris. And now representing the black team, she's five foot one, weighed in 140 pounds with a background in wrestling. She calls Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, her home. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Bloody Valentine. And now official instruction from Aruba. Aaron Aruba is trying to get Valentine's celebrating already, scaling the cage. What does she I know that we don't? Lost. Jenny Valentine, you see that physique. All right, girls. A squatty physique. You can see tremendous power in those legs. And Aaron Aruba is trying to bring her in so you can give instructions. Go back to your corner. Let's go. No. <laughs> wow. I'm beginning to think the rules don't matter to these girls. <laughs> they really don't. They don't listen to the referee. They don't listen to anybody. They're just ready here to get it on. It is MMA like you've never seen it before. <laughs> Absolutely. So we are ready for round number one. Aaron Aruba is the referee. Our See Valentine rushing forward there, just looking to engage right away. Nuclear Norris, though. Nice kicks to the body. And to think... Norris oh. cannot go to the ground. This is where Valentine's going to have a tremendous advantage. Wow, that and she's was already got a good hole right there, right there, John. It's got that neck area. 
and really working the body now with to side the body. shot. Could potentially has a choke there, an arm triangle, steps over to mount. The transitions are beautiful with Jenny Valentine. And look at, look at, you could just tell from the glute come tremendous power. She's able to go ahead and get tremendous leverage out of there. Oh, but a beautiful sweep there from Riley Norris. Now, big shots from the top from Riley Norris. Now, you, you can punch to the head when you're on the ground, so you can ground and pound there. Even if you have lingerie on? That's right. Another reversal here. Look at Jenny Valentine trying to grab that guillotine choke. Tough, tough angle to, uh, to get the choke fully boy, in there. she is strong, though, John, and she's yeah. really locking down on that. You can see Norris grimacing with the pain a little bit. That thing is definitely in tight. She, she is bridging right there. That requires tremendous power. Norris really yeah. using up a lot of energy to fend off Valentine. Now Valentine finds herself on the bottom. It was a great reversal, though, from Riley Norris. You can see, I mean, the, 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 the sheer power seems to belong to Jenny Valentine, but Riley Norris is scrappy, and she's able to stay in there with her. And look at it, rolling out for the Kimura here. Can't quite get that. Can she maybe transition to an arm bar? Norris, I'm impressed with her defensive skills, though, because she's been able to fend off the power of Valentine. But Jenny Valentine now rolling out, a bit of a modified uh, triangle choke there. Just the transitions between these two ladies have oh, been she's incredible got the to watch. That le the left arm of Norris is in a bad spot. Now yep. she frees it. Back on the feet there. Norris was able to fend off that submission attempt. She looks angry now. Oh, nice kick to the legs. Oh, oh, oh big right to the hand and a chin. You can't, can't do that. She's celebrating the knockout victory, but this is not a knockout win. Referee Aaron Aruba trying no. to tell her this is fight is not over. No, it's not over. And you see the commissioner right there, Lizzie Hunter, her mouth about open. She about swallowed her tongue right there. And you can see that Norris is in bad shape. Yeah, she's hurt right now. She's going to be disqualified. She's got to be disqualified. Can she carry on here? So she's got to be disqualified. Valentine definitely struck to the face. Yeah, it's going to depend if if if, uh, if Riley Norris can carry on here. I mean, we could get a point deduction, but she is not looking in good shape right now. And I mean, I'll rule. I'll read the rules again. No standing combatant dressed in lingerie should be permitted to strike another standing combatant dressed in lingerie in the face. And that was a clean right hand to the chin, and the bell is sounded. So I think what's being determined here is Riley Norris just absolutely cannot carry on. And I, I think that's probably a wise well, decision let's, here. Let's take a look at here on the replay because he took the sh a tremendous shot. And there it is, right, right across the, the jaw. And, and just turned the head. And you can see the celebration there. She thought Jenny Valentine did it. She had a one-punch walk-off KO. But with the new rules that are now in place, that is an illegal blow. And I certainly don't think you could call it an unintentional blow. I mean, she targeted that right to the chin. You can't call this a no contest and say, well, she didn't intend. I mean, she targeted the chin, and she hit it right there. And listen, uh, Riley Norris showed a lot of toughness in that opening round, but but she was out cold on her face, and I think this is the right call. She can't carry on. It reminded me of when uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. hit Victor Ortiz. You know, again, you're not supposed to. There were, were at a time when they were supposed to pause. Joe Cortez was not in position to see that. Boom. But I think everybody here saw. Definitely the referee was right on top of this, Aaron Aruba. Yeah, it's up to his discretion. I, I think it's got to be a disqualification. We'll get the official result. Okay, let's go to Mike Adams and get the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, Aruba, the referee, has told me, as the commissioner earlier stated, there is going to be no slaps to the face. And with that, Jenny Valentine has been disqualified. Your winner by disqualification, Riley Nuclear Norris. Boy, you love the aggression showed by Jenny Bloody Valentine, but she's got to learn the rules. Crowd doesn't like it, but hey, the rules were made very clear, and I think they were uh, adhered to right, right here. That was the right call. And the commissioner, Lizzie, Lizzie Hunter, was right within view. In fact, that punch took place right in front of Lizzie Hunter. And again, I'll read it to you again. No standing combatant dressed in lingerie should be permitted to strike. Another standing combatant dressed in lingerie oh, look in at the, the face. And there it's it is. Powerful there. And you know what? It's the right call, but I'll tell you what. Sign me up to see Jenny Valentine fight again. That was an incredible knockout blow, even if it was illegal. Referee Cesar Lozano in there again, giving the final instructions. And Eric, 
what do you do when you're Riley North, knowing that you have the massive size difference to overcome? What's the advice here? Very difficult assignment for North tonight. Tatia Cordell also eight and eight, a little bit more experience as well. So a lot of things in Cordell's favor tonight. As you said, right away, Riley North trying to stay away and strike. Susan Cordell bringing big shots on the feet as well. Yeah, I think movement's going to be her friend here. Tire, tire her opponent out. Oh, flying Superman punch there from the larger opponent. Wow. Great athleticism. A lot of movement early. And there is the power. Impressive, Tata. I don't even know if that was technique. It's more as just pure strength. And now she's in top position. It looked almost like a power double, but man, she just dove right in. And immediately in the mount. This is a bad, bad position for Riley Norris. Big punches coming from the top. What can Riley Norris do to get out of here? She is in a lot of trouble, bucking and rolling, trying to get Tatia Cordell off of her. This is not good for Nuclear Norris. No, she needs to try to get control of her hands and, and oh man, she's in, yeah, buck her off there. That was exactly wow. what she what an amazing sweep. You can see her grimacing in pain as the bigger opponent was laying shots, and now it's Nuclear Norris on top. Big right hands. A left there as well, but now she's left her arm behind. Another great sweep. That position she was just in, that's where she's going to need to be to win this fight. Fantastic grappling action right now to Tia Cordell. After being swept, lands one of her own. She's back in the mount position. Looks like she's trying to set up an arm. Yeah, bar looking now. for the arm bar there. Turns straight over. Arm still in trouble right now. Nuclear Norris trying to last through it, but she is in trouble right now. This arm has got to be in a lot of pain. She's trying to switch out. She pulls free. Huh? Nuclear Norris now on top again. What an amazing turn of events. She seems to be handling the size difference pretty well right now. Eric, I'm impressed with the heart of Nuclear Norris. Big shots from the top, elbows oh. to the body. Those cannot feel good. This is where she can tire her opponent out. Her opponent's carrying a lot of, you know, she's just much larger than her. Another sweep though there from Tortilla Cordell. Again, the big fighter on top, and here come the heavy punches. Man, this has gone back and forth. Are these elbows gonna end the fight? You can see Nuclear Norris covering up. Now it's another armbar attempt. Can she get the leg over? She's in a dangerous spot here. Gets the leg on the facer. Oh, now she's in trouble. Wow. The left arm there in danger of popping. This is a bad spot. Nuclear Norris pushes her head through and relieves the pressure again. Wow, I can't believe she got out of that. Incredible turn of events yet again. Cannot say enough about the heart of the smaller Nuclear Norris. And now she's delivering damage again from top position. They're getting out of really bad positions. Well, let's see if she can keep that same strategy you said she should use from round one, Eric, and that is just try to stay on the feet. You can see her trying to work those long punches right now. Use speed, as you said, as you see her working the bite. Ooh, a big kick there. That hurt. She reminds me of Little Mac, you know, stick and move, stick and move. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Susan Cordell just trying to use that power. Seems to be moving pretty well in the second round here even though she expended a lot of energy in the first. Riley Norris, in and out, as you said. Move around, make your opponent chase you, tire out maybe. Her opponent is just relentless though, and there she uses that power to get her up against the cage. Yep, Susan Cordell against the cage here, pressing against a small opponent, a nice reversal off of the cage. She's setting up some kind of side choke. No, and again, there's the power of Susan Cordell as well, just slamming her back to the ground. Riley North in full guard. Good guard, just staying right where you are on top and punching away. Oh, look at the legs up high there. The triangle attempt. Can she get the triangle choke attempt from the bottom? She's trying to get it locked in right now. She's in position. She's just got to get that leg down to her knee. Tatia Cordell is in a bad spot here. Could be a triangle choke and maybe turn it over for an arm bar. But no, she's going to try to slip past the legs. And she is out. Wow, scramble here. Can... Another sweep to the top. Eric, the power of Tatia Cordell on top right now. This is danger. She's just outpowering her in almost every position. 
Is that a straight armbar tip on the left-hand side there? She looks like she's got something going on there. It's tough to see. You see Riley Norris grimacing in pain. Might even that elbow just pressed across her face. It looks like she's got out. Now maybe setting up an arm train. Nope, she's able to pull free there. Now rolling out for the armbar on the other side, perhaps. Yes, she's going for it. Looks like she might. Oh, this might be it right here. That arm is in trouble. Eric, this looks tight. Uh, she is in trouble. It looks like we might have another Ronda Rousey on our hands here. Can Riley Nuclear Norris come up with another miracle here? Turning to her knees, but that arm is in trouble. Tatia Cordell has that thing locked. The legs are across the face. That elbow is in a lot of trouble. Uh, she's in a bad way here. And the bell saves her. Riley Nuclear Norris get Dell in the black. <laughs> another Superman punch. Look at the power in round three. You know, I thought as the rounds went on, Cordell was going to start fading, but she seems to be hanging in there with just as much energy. Incredible. Another takedown. Yeah, we thought the smaller Nuclear Norris could maybe take this thing to the third round. She could show an advantage with the gas tank for Cordell. She is all over. And now on the back, another bad spot for Nuclear Norris. Uh, she might have that locked in. Looking for the rear naked choke. Trying to defend two hands on one, pulling the arm away from the neck. But this is a bad spot. Oh, and she locked it up. Going for the choke. It looks like it's under the neck, Eric. It looks deep. It looks really deep. Tatia Cordell squeezing. You can see she's got the bicep. She's got the arm under the neck. Riley Nuclear Norris in trouble and squeezes out yet again. Unbelievable heart for Riley Norris. But she is not out of the woods yet. I'm really impressed with Norris and her ability, is, especially with this larger opponent. She just keeps fighting out of everything. And right away, you can see the rear naked choke a little off to the side, but now a bit of a neck crank. That's another submission attempt there that Nuclear Norris is able to survive. And she's going to turn over and be in top position. Unbelievable wow. turn of events here. And look at the heart wailing away with big punches from the top. She's bringing it down. What a miraculous turnaround this would be. Nuclear Norris on top, trying to get free. You can see Tatia Cordell underneath just holding top and powers over on top position. And now she's raining down huge blows. Cordell, the strength and the power has been incredible. And she is on top again and just smothering Nuclear Norris. This side advantage has got to be wearing on nuclear at this point. Absolutely. It looks like she's trying to set up the armbar yet again. Oh, yep, there it is. Turns out the armbar again. Could this be the one that ends the fight? The legs are across the face. You can see Nuclear Norris. That arm is fully extended. She's trying this to do anything she can. Oh, look at that angle on and she got out again. I can't believe this. My gosh, incredible work. How many times she could get out of that position? She just must have no joint there in her elbow. There's no tendons, no ligaments. There's nothing there. And now she's wailing away with big punches from top position. Unbelievable action in this fight. Back and forth the whole time. Both of these girls are bringing it in the LFC tonight. Lucia's got to watch out for this triangle. Tatia Cordell, despite having the bigger size, has had great cardio as well, all the way. And a wild scramble there. It looked like Nuclear Norris was going to get free, but instead Tatia Cordell on her back, punching away. And there is the bell to end this fight. What an incredible fight this was. Like the scores are in. Let's get our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. So just like you said, Eric, Tatia Cordell, the power and the strength was too much tonight for Riley Nuclear Norris, and she takes home the decision win. But I tell you what, that was a fantastic fight for both competitors.